Hey guys, today, you are going to learn how to create effective prompts for ChatGPT so you can get the best possible results every time. There is also a new way to edit the output ChatGPT gives with its latest update. And if you watch the video till the end, you will learn it too. Now, if you are ready, let's begin. ChatGPT is an extremely helpful AI tool for writing things like emails, blog posts, and even answering your questions. Unfortunately, Many people don't use it to its full potential because they don't know how to write good prompts. If you want to use ChatGPT effectively and get better outputs, you need to master writing prompts. A prompt is simply the instruction you give to ChatGPT to get a response. The better you prompt, the better answers you will get. Let's jump right into an example. Suppose you want ChatGPT to help you write a blog post about dogs. If you simply type, write a blog post about dogs. This will be a bad prompt because it's too general. ChatGPT will still write you a basic blog post, but it won't be a high quality output. So let's improve this prompt a little bit. To get the best out of ChatGPT, here are five tips for writing better prompts. Tip number one, be specific. The more details you give, the better response will be. Let's apply this to our original prompt. Instead of saying write a blog post about dogs, let's be more specific about the topic. Change it to write a blog post about the benefits of adopting a dog. Already this gives ChatGPT more direction. Tip number two, keep it simple. Use a straightforward language so that ChatGPT knows exactly what you mean. Let's make sure our prompt is easy to understand. Write a blog post about the benefits of adopting a dog from a shelter. This is still clear and specific without unnecessary complexity. Tip number three, include key details. Think about what you need, like the tone, style, or word count, and include that in your prompt as well. Let's add these details. Write a 300-word blog post about the benefits of adopting a dog from a shelter, using a friendly and encouraging tone. Now ChatGPT knows how long the post should be and what kind of tone to use. Tip number four, state your purpose clearly. Tell ChatGPT what the goal of the response is, whether it's to inform, persuade, or entertain. This helps guide the response even more. Adding the purpose, we get a write a 300-word blog post to persuade readers about the benefits of adopting a dog from a shelter using a friendly and encouraging tone. Now even the purpose is crystal clear. Tip number five, understand your audience. Think about who will be reading the content and what will be resonate with them. Tailoring your prompt to the audience ensures that the message connects effectively. Let's consider the audience's potential pet adopters. So write a 300-word blog post to persuade potential pet adopters about the benefits of adopting a dog from a shelter. Include reasons why shelter dogs make great pets and use a friendly and encouraging tone that will appeal to first-time pet owners. As you can see, by following each of these tips, we have transformed our original prompt into a much more effective version. Therefore, the blog posts produced by ChatGPT for both prompts are significantly different. With the original prompt, ChatGPT produced a basic general blog post about dogs lacking any real depth or persuasive power. However, with our improved prompt, ChatGPT created a well-structured blog post that specifically highlights the benefits of adopting a shelter dog. The content is much more targeted and effective, making it far more useful for your specific purpose. So now that we have improved our blog post, what if we want to make further changes? Let's say we are not happy with the introduction, and we want to make it more concise and engaging to hook the reader immediately. With ChatGPT, it is easy to make these kinds of edits. You can simply select the introduction part and provide additional instructions like make the intro more concise and ensure it hooks the reader right away. ChatGPT will then make changes specifically to that part of the blog post, making the introduction sharper and more effective. However, there is a new alternative for editing called ChatGPT Canvas, which comes with the latest update that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. ChatGPT Canvas allows you to visually interact with the content. You can click directly the part that you want to edit, like the introduction, and type in your additional instructions. 
This makes editing super intuitive and helps you quickly iterate on your content until it's exactly the way you want it. If you want to learn more about ChatGPT Canvas and how it makes editing even easier, make sure to watch my next video. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more similar content. Thank you for watching.